Week eight, everybody. We are getting close and uh, things are starting to get good. Uh, Gavita, some of these tops are starting to fall over, uh, even with the second set of trellising. So these are definitely nice, heavy colas all filled in. Um, but what you'll notice is uh, they have plenty of hairs, but they're majorly lacking in crystal production. When you grab these tops, um, you know, they're just not very sticky. So the weight's there, um, but I'm wondering how potent these will be when we send them off for testing. Uh, that said, I, you can see why people like these lights. I, I think most people would be pretty excited to be uh, having a harvest like this. It's not until you put them up against other lights that you start to notice um, some of these issues. We'll pull the tape measure out here. Nice seven to eight inches uh, on this one. Um, you, you know, good six to seven here, about two inches wide. Uh, this guy over here doesn't even want to stand up uh, already almost nine inches so you know it's a pretty nice canopy we're looking at here and here we have the kind light uh, as you can see also looks amazing you know, very similar stack into the Gavita good length and lots of frosty tops you know also starting to topple over from their own weight and, and check this out i mean you can really see the frost on these flowers uh, i mean they are much stickier to the touch than what we're seeing in the gavita tent and, and that's one of the reasons i switched to led uh, you know the quality you get from kind spectrum it's just it's just better here we have a a nice chunky top Really nice colas here in the center at trellis level. We can pull out the tape measure here. This monster is about, about eight inches. We got another beefy flower here, about six inches. Can't get a great shot of this one, but it's a fatty, about seven inches. And uh, this, <laughs> this one's my favorite. That one is gonna cure nicely. You know, really good canopy penetration with this light. I mean, look at some of this under canopy flower. A little close up of some of these crystals. You know, these tops are super dense too. You know, I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up, but you know, when you give them a pinch, they are solid. Another close up. Looks and smells delicious. And uh, here's the black dog. And these, these definitely aren't going to uh, be filling in at this point. Um, you know, the flowers themselves look nice. Uh, I think anybody uh, who brought this light home and, and didn't have anything to compare it to would be um, pretty stoked on the results. I, I enjoyed this light when I was using it primarily. Uh, but I, and then I saw my buddy had a kind light and I, I saw, you know, what his... Uh, he was yielding and so I, I switched over but you know the black dog got good results you could just see that it doesn't fill in uh in the same way and uh the weight is obviously not as strong but uh but again you know great looking flowers also frostier uh, and stickier than the gavita So, I mean, you could see this, this top just didn't stack. Uh, and we saw this early on with the internodal spacing, uh, you know, so you can see how important that is. It's, it's just pretty amazing to see the impact uh, that the spectrum has on the growth characteristics. Remember, uh, all variables were the same for these growths. The, the lighting uh, w was the only difference. Um, we can pull out the, uh, the tape measure uh, for these two. Got about a, you know, a four inch cluster up on top here. 
This over here is probably uh, the nicest top, and we, you know, about about five inches. So, uh, you know, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching, y'all. I hope you found this interesting. I'll be harvesting in the next episode and sending some product from each light to the lab so we can check on uh, the potency and the terpenes and such. Thanks much.